Here's a Dear Cooper letter. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm a college student living off campus. My building is small, only has 12 people, and they share a laundry room, which has two washers, two dryers in the basement. Okay, got it. My personal rule for moving laundry is that both of the washers have clothes in them. I just won't start a load if the dryers aren't completely done. So if there's somebody else has their clothes in a dryer, this person won't start a washer yet. Until the dryers are empty and they can go from washer to dryer. Right. And they don't want the clothes to back up and and, and so on. It's 12 people. So it's good rule if like Saturday, everybody's going to be washing their clothes. 12 apartments or 12 people? 12 apartments. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Okay. So one of the women came into my building while I was moving her clothes. So I guess the dryer stopped. She took the clothes out of the dryer, put them in a basket. The Mm. lady walked in the minute she was doing that and went ballistic because she touched the laundry of this other person. So she's asking, did I break a laundry room etiquette by taking somebody else's clothes out of the dryer when they were done, even though they, they have been done for an hour? Oh, that's what I was going to ask next. Because if, okay, so let's say you put your stuff in the dryer and it's 45 minutes and you don't come down at exactly 45 minutes, you come down maybe like 55 minutes or something, Mm -hmm. then no, you can't, you can't touch the clothes. If they've been in there for an hour, you live in the building, you know, there's only two washers and two dryers. And if you're doing laundry, it means you have time to do laundry. So you should, we all have smartphones, Mm. just go ahead and set the timer. And when the timer goes, bong, bong, that means your laundry is done. You march your ass down there and you get your damn laundry. And if you don't march your ass down there and get your damn laundry, (laughs) that woman has the right to take your stupid laundry out of the dryer, which is probably really not even hot anymore. Mm. So yeah, she did the right. The etiquette is... Get your damn clothes out of there. And if you don't get your damn clothes out of there, tick tock. Because if I'm coming down, your stuff is. And it was very nice. You put it in a basket. Mm-hmm. I would just. I mean, I would just put it on. I don't know what wherever. their. I don't know what their laundry. I wouldn't throw it on the floor. But um, we have tables in our laundry room, and we have baskets in our laundry room. I would either throw it on the table, or if there's a basket conveniently nearby, I would throw it in the basket. Okay. Yeah. I So you give them 15 minutes once the dryer stops. They got 15 minutes to get there. That's right. Because it's a busy laundry room. Mm-hmm. You're down there. You're well aware there's other people in the building. So it's not your personal washer dryer. So if you have a problem with these rules, then go get yourself a washer dryer for your own apartment. That way you can just leave your stuff in there until the cows come home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I did lose it a couple of times when I had to go to a laundry room and somebody took my clothes out of the dryer. It's like, dude, I don't want you touching my clothes. But how long were they in there for? You, you know, when we were living together, you and I would both set our alarm. And the minute the right. alarm went off, we would walk down to the right laundry there room. And, be, and be right there. Uh huh. Right. And I would even set it five minutes before the dryer was supposed to stop. To make sure I got there in time. So, right, that's what you do. So I've I've never been late, but somebody went ahead. And there was like, what, 12 dryers? There's yeah. a bunch of dryers. I mean, half of them didn't work, but right. <laughs> we had a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, but people would do that all the time, and it'd drive me crazy. Well, so. here's the really rude thing they do in my building. So this is a building with 12 apartments, two dryers, two washers. I've got a much larger building. We have... Mm, see how many dryers, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dryers and probably as many washing machines, probably mm. 15 dryers, 15 washing machines. What people do, and I've noticed it's when people have housekeepers, because I live in a building where some people bought like two or three apartments, put it together and they have a housekeeper, like how nice for mm. you. Um, what they do is they, instead of when I do a wash, I just throw stuff in until it's full, right before it's full. And then I'd get another machine and then I fill that one up. 
what they do is they'll put like a few socks in one, some shirts in another, no. a couple of towels in here. And one person will use, I saw one woman, she used six machines. One woman, six machines, and she didn't fill six machines. It's mm-hmm. one thing if like you just move back from Antarctica and you have all these clothes with you and you, you know, you have to like pile it all in. No, she, one of them had like two towels in it. She pulled two towels out and I was like, an entire machine for two friggin' towels? <laughs> like, I had to wait for your s- two stupid towels? Like, don't you see that there's all these other people around here? So this one woman, she had six machines with things that could have easily fit in two, maybe three, if she wants to give herself a little more room. So, ah, I just, I think there needs to be some etiquette and some rules when it comes to, to public laundry. And one of them is you can't use all the machines. And when your stuff is done, you have a 15 minute window to come get your stuff. If you if you don't come get your stuff, I don't care if it's in the washing machine, it's wet, it's getting moldy and it's going in a basket. 